Wow. Seriously. That's how we start the reading. Well, I like it at the beginning rather than the ending. Ten of Swords. Something came to an end here. <clears throat> something came to an end. Someone was not fair. Something was not balanced. But I'm literally getting like, Taurus, you ended something with someone. Okay. It was like an overkill for you. It was something that you were completely depressed with. This really threw you off ground. A lot of anxiety, stress. Okay. But you put an end to something, end to the bullshit probably that someone was giving you. Because for you, you wanted justice. You could be wanting marriage, commitment, uh, you know, or something just that fair, something that holds value. But I guess you made a logical decision probably and you put an end to something. Okay. Something ended badly here. You could have felt very backstabbed and betrayed by this person. <clears throat> Again, take it vice versa. Could be the cross watcher. Tell me more. Tell me more. Nine of Cups. You went something and something's coming back. You have a wish for from Mentoris with the Nine of Cups, yeah. Something's going to make you very, very happy, okay? With a wish fulfillment. This is a wish coming true, but this is emotional happiness. You know, Taurus, <clears throat> you could have been very, very emotionally dependent on this person. You probably let this person kill you over and over and over again. What I'm getting is that what you tolerate or what you allow will continue. And that's what happened. And that's what led to this Ten of Swords here. You let someone walk over you. Let you, you were a doormat for someone only because this person made you happy. You had your entire happiness based on them. <clears throat> now that they're coming in with the Seven of Wands here, you're very protected and very guarded. You feel the need to protect yourself from them. You don't, you have trust issues. But a wish is coming through. Tell me more. Two of Pentacles. <clears throat> someone could be juggling you, okay, with two people or just two situations. But this someone, you probably were trying to balance out the situation or there's someone coming in for you who's trying to balance the situation out. Maybe this person was someone who probably neglected love, okay? The Two of Pentacles is also someone, you know, who probably didn't give so much, um, say so much importance to love. They were always neglecting you. They were not focused on love. All right, but now I'm getting the tables have turned, all right? This person is trying to find a balance in their love life, work life, family life, but they're adapting to that to those changes in love. It's like a balancing act that you can see here. Maybe this person is someone who has a lot of responsibilities, okay, that they need to take care of. And probably love was the last thing on their mind. And probably that's what the relationship was feeling very strained, you know, constantly juggling the relationship with career, their family issues, etc. But now I think they're ready to put in the effort. They're considering taking the, the relationship and considering it to be something important. <clears throat> They're coming in to balance things out. Tell me more. See, this just wanted to come out, but you're going to be, oh, your guy's going to be up, dude. You're not letting this person in. You could have blocked this person on social media. It doesn't always have to be social media, but you could have definitely blocked this person energetically, okay? I'm getting like no no entry. I'm getting like that big fat no. You're not coming here. Don't even come close to me. When I needed you, you weren't there. And I mean, you left me high and dry. You left me here to die on my own. Okay, that was too dramatic, sorry. But Ten of Swords, right? That's very painful, right? That's something that you were like, you know, giving it a chance and chance and chance and over and over again. So you felt like, okay, this is it now. I'm just, I'm, I'm, you know, like you felt like a victim. And see, Queen of Wands, you lost motivation. You lost that uh, that uh, mojo for this person. And now you're ready to put all your focus on yourself. <clears throat> I don't think you're wanting to invest into this person anymore. Like I said, right? You're losing that, you, you know, you, you, you're losing that passion, that uh, that energy that you had towards this person. You're being selfish, not in a bad way, but in a good way, where now the entire focus is on you and not on them. You could be the one chasing them for a very long time, okay? Probably you were very determined and very passionate about this person. You were probably even leading the relationship, but now you're like backing out. 
anymore. Ace of Wands. They want a brand new beginning with you. Clean slate, ground zero. Let's start from scratch. Wow, Ace of Cups. <laughs> Not, are they, not only are they very passionate about you, not only do they want a brand new beginning with you, uh, like a clean slate, they're very inspired, and they have a lot of passion for you, but at the same time, they have a lot of love for you. This person is ready to open up emotionally. It was obvious, like, probably this is what you always wanted, and that's what you're getting now. <coughs> that's what you're getting now. Could be this person with the Seven of Wands is someone now they've realized that they're ready to fight for this relationship. Okay, they're ready and they're very determined to have you back. But yeah, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, that's new beginnings, okay? That's new beginnings. They want you to forget everything that happened in the past so that you, you guys can restart. Clearly, there's been an ending between you guys, okay? So yeah, from the 10, now they go up back to the 1. <coughs> Say the world here, they want to start a brand new chapter with you. You probably feel that you've reached like a goal with this person. You've reached that milestone in this relationship, okay? Whatever was there, okay, you you you've reached that point with this person. Maybe you're looking for closure. <clears throat> if not, maybe this person feels they're unfinished business, okay? And they want to finish it off. But again, seven of cups. This person is very confused. They probably have a lot of options, not options in that way. Uh, of having more options as boys or girls. I feel this person has a lot of options or a lot of things they have in mind, but they're very confused about how to make that approach towards you. Maybe they're, they're coming in with clarity. I think they have clarity. They're wanting to they, they narrow down their choices. Like I said, right earlier, this person could be juggling you either with another situation or, you know, they had too much on their mind. But now they have... Um, Literally, they have clarity. They're making a more practical choice and they realize that you should be their priority, okay? And you're on their priority list for sure. <clears throat> Reconciliation. They're coming back. This is a soulmate connection. I think you have an energetic difference. Oh, I think there's a significant difference between you guys, okay? It could be age, religion, distance, the way you guys are brought up, whatever, right? But this is a soulmate, okay? And that's why they can't get over you. They're wanting to come in. To have the best of memories with you, okay? This is your ex. If this is not ex, someone definitely from the past. <clears throat> They're coming in to the page of cups. This is emotional communication, but this is also an apology. You know what I'm getting? You could be dealing with someone who's ha who has a very hard time opening up emotionally. Okay, someone who always suppresses their emotions. You know, they try to like, you know, like emotions. No, like what's that? You know, let me see things more realistically. Okay, and that's something that you never wanted. Maybe you were the one who's always open. You know, always being receptive, and this person always rejected those emotions. <coughs> Hmm. You're holding back from this person, I feel, because friends are you're doing everything. But I'm getting more of this as that person. I think they're doing going doing everything that they can to make this work out. This time they have that inner belief, that courage. The strength is like those animal instincts, right? <clears throat> Uh, which is like, you know, like, yeah, I can make this happen, right? So this is that drive, that passion towards you, okay? And they want you to take those big steps. They want you to make big, bold moves towards you. And they're ready to do whatever it takes. For the wheel of fortune, they're ready to get the ball rolling, okay? They want, they bring in positive changes. They feel this is a very destined and fated connection. And they're coming in for that. So yeah, that's it. So seven of wands, this is them wanting to fight for this new beginning here. I'm sorry, I keep adjusting the thoughts. OCD. Sorry, guys. OCD. <clears throat> You're being bold and courageous this time. No more being a coward. No more trying to get the easy way out. No more copping out from putting in that real effort, putting that real work. They're completely zoned in on you. There, see? Page of Cups. They're coming in. They're coming in. And they're determined to talk to you. They're coming in to make things right. Love offer. This is a love offer. This is someone who loves you very, very much because of the three of swords that this person's hurting. They're missing you like crazy. <clears throat> you have that emotional communication coming in, apology, whatever. But yeah, they're coming in to talk to you. 
two of wands, but you're going to be at a crossroads. Either because you're feeling that this is a relationship or this is a connection that's very toxic or this person is very toxic, you know, or you probably even feel, or probably this person is just someone who's obsessed with you, okay? And when this person comes in, it's going to put you in a hard spot, okay? You're going to have to make a choice of whether you want to get this person, let this person into your life or not. <clears throat> you have to need to, you, you're going to have to need to make a decision. I think you're trying to stay uh, safe. Either you have the fear of making the wrong decision or you're trying to stay in your comfort zone, you know? You know, like, I don't know, like, for you, probably it'll be, like, a big risk if you give this person another chance, right? So, you want it to stay safe. But, yeah, you're probably at a crossroads. You're going to have to make a decision, a very detached decision, because you're already half and half out, okay? I'd say you're already half out. So, for you, it's like, dude, I don't know what to do. What next? <clears throat> give me the likely outcome for Taurus in love, please. Give me the likely outcome for Taurus. Eight of Wands, communication coming in. Exciting, passionate communication. <clears throat> but here you're holding back. See, like I said, right? You're in the state of shutdown. You're not wanting to open up. You have trust issues with this person. This could be you with the strength. Resisting this person, okay? Trying to withhold your emotions from this person. Trying to be strong in your um, feelings. Like, I could do this without them. But they're coming in regardless with the page of points. That's communication. Good messages. They're coming to express what they feel. Taking action towards you. In your mark for Taurus. In your mark for Taurus. Whoa, nice. <clears throat> the death. Someone's coming in towards you, Taurus. Hear me out. They're coming in towards you with that big change, with that big transformation. This is very unexpected. There was someone out here who was resisting an old pattern, okay? They constantly kept staying, keeping you in that loop, keeping you in a limbo. You didn't know what to do. They were constantly in and out of your life, okay? Uh, implying they were very unreliable, unsincere, okay? They probably deal, they probably looked at you as like their passion project, okay? Someone who, you know, there's a difference between a passion project and a business project, right? Passion projects are like, okay, today I love you, tomorrow I don't. Today I want you, tomorrow I don't. But a business project is where you have deadlines. You meet your goals, okay? You're serious about it. This time, I think they're coming in. They're, they're putting an end to all that bullshit and they're coming in with some communication, okay? Could be very lighthearted. They're definitely feeling sorry about what they did. But yeah, the death is changes, transformation, okay? And this entire relationship, the tables are going to turn. You're not going to be expecting this. But yeah, after this ending, if things have an ending between you guys, there are chances that after this ending, that's when the entire thing's going to play out, all right? So <clears throat> take what resonates, guys. Don't try to fit it in. But I do see someone who's coming in with that entire brand new energy, you know, rising of the phoenix, you know, rising from the ashes kind of feeling. Then letting that entire old thing go, which does not serve them anymore. They're coming in with that changed energy. You're probably not even going to recognize who this person is when they come in. You're going to be like, dude, what the fuck happened to you? You know? That's what I have for you, Doris. I hope this reading resonates with you. Do like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.